Hi everyone and welcome back! I'm Juliet and welcome to my restorative yoga practice today. This practice is intended to heal, to nurture, to recover and to restore our physical body, emotional body and the mental body. Since it's a lighter version of the practice, it can be an excellent practice for the beginners. As well, it can be a wonderful practice for more advanced practitioners on the days of recovery. You can also use this flow to jumpstart your day. So let's enjoy this practice together. And as always, I will guide you through, guys, and you team will do your best. So let's begin. All right, friends. So let's begin our flow today on our back. So let's begin by laying down and extending our arms and legs, giving that body good quality restorative stretch all the way through. In today's flow, guys, we will begin by reaching all the way outside with those arms and outside with those legs. Give those arms and legs good stretch just like a star pose all the way and then we will slowly draw the legs up and begin a little straddles first so we're gonna do a few straddles up here and then we will move slowly to the hip circles leg circles so let's do a few more Warming up those hips, slower back, bringing the energy to that body. And then let's step up here. It doesn't have to be super wide, right? And we're going to start inward circles. First inside and all the way out. Inside, draw through the bottom. Take it all the way out. Inside, draw all the way and out. Let's do a couple more in. Out. Now let's reverse them. Take them outside, in, draw from the bottom to the top. Outside, in, from the bottom to the top. Let's do just a few more. Outside and in, from the bottom to the top. Make sure, guys, that you're breathing. You are not holding your breath. And let's do one more, the final one. Very nice. Let's draw our both knees together. Draw the chin towards the knees all the way and then slowly guys gently come on up and sit with me. So before we will continue let's pull the glutes out it's gonna help us to connect with the mat a little bit better and we're ready for the next flow. We're gonna go ahead and greet the earth. So both palms on the floor Lengthening, reaching, and twisting gently. And reach up and open. And all the way, greet the earth from the other side. Reach up and open. We're going to do a few times like that. And palms flat in a little soft rotation. Don't fail the shoulders. And reach up and greet the earth. Say hello, the earth. All the way, reach up. Let's do one more time from each side. That's a very good stretch for the back, for the shoulders, for the wrist, for the hips. Good job, guys. So let's come back to the center and take your legs to the wide seated angle. Again, pull the glutes out. Doesn't have to be super wide, just make it comfortable. Reach all the way first, expand, extend, take the heart up and open and then go ahead take the hands on the floor reach heart towards the ceiling make sure that you connect through the shoulder blades expand through the heart reach expand and then take it slowly all the way to the front so if you can't send your elbows on the floor guys don't worry about it just put your hands on the ground, rest, recover, and reach again, up and open, all the way, expand, take the hands behind, and open up, 
the chest, expand through the side of the body, expand through the heart, expand through the ribcage space between the ribs, and slowly reach up, and again forward fold. Maybe this time you can go slightly tiny little bit deeper, make sure that you don't fail the shoulders, you fold forward through the hips, and let's do it one more time. Open nice and big, guys. And slowly set the hands on the floor. Reach up and open. Right, it's through that heart. And we're going back to the forward fold in that wide seated angle. Now, again, you can use your blocks. You can fold forward fully if your body allows you to do it. Stay on your forearms as I showed you the first two repetitions. So just take your time. Give that body, give that pelvic floor some time to relax. Very good. And let's take a breath or two. And slowly, gently start to walk back. We're going to draw one leg inside just like we do our half angle, right? In the second one, we're gonna grab the big toe or you can grab the strap. You can also grab the ankle or you can bend your knees if that has to be done. Try to sit nice and leveled on your hips. Connect with the other ankle if you can. If not, then support yourself outside and open it up. So it's a half angle and a half upright seated angle all the way. Big breaths, keep on breathing. Through the nose in, through the nose out. Excellent work, guys. Just a couple more breaths. Don't hold that body stiff. Keep that heart lifted and breathe. We're gonna draw this left leg all the way, this extended leg, towards the opposite shoulder for the baby cradle. Now, if you have more range of motion, you can use your elbow today and just bind with the elbow. Keep on breathing, guys. Mm -hmm. And let's go ahead and extend it one more time. Big toe all the way through. Shoulders down, heart up. Keep on breathing. We're still gonna stay, guys, on this side. So we're gonna move this extended leg up front. If you have to bring your arms on the floor, bring them on the floor. If you can stay in the half seated bound angle and the half boat, you might also need to bend the knee. Stand, stay with me up here. Heart up, connection with the center, solar plexus is active. We're breathing through the nose in and through the nose out. Stay with me, guys. Through the nose in and through the nose out. Slowly bring that leg all the way up and fold forward with me. Gentle, fold forward, relax your neck. All the way through and start to layer your belly down towards the front leg. Mm -hmm. And you can let the shoulders drop right now. Very good job. Mm -hmm. Come on back up and we're going to switch the legs. So let's bring the left leg inside. In the right, you can grab the big toe, you can grab the ankle, you can hold that knee bend. And we're going to go ahead and extend this leg on the side. Pick up the belly, guys. Activate the pelvic floor. Keep on breathing. Expand the heart and grab that ankle, the opposite, if you can. If not, you can support yourself on the floor. Reach that heart up and continue to breathe. Through the nose in, through the nose out, and let's slowly draw that right ankle towards the left shoulder, so towards the opposite. If you do have a little bit more range of motion today, then you can use your elbow to bring even more leverage and help that leg to go even deeper, closer 
towards the opposite shoulder. So put yourself with the other hand. Make sure you don't tilt then round the back, right? And then I'm gonna hold it for the few breaths. Through the nose in and through the nose out. Good work, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and extend it again. Lift, exhalation, extend, breathe and hold, guys. Wonderful job. And just a couple more breaths before we will move towards a one-legged boat and one leg in the half bound angle. So if you have to support it, support it. If you have to take the hands on the floor, take the hands on the floor. You can also bend your knee or you can stay with me, lean slightly back by activating the Manipura, the third chakra, pull the navel in and keep on breathing. Try not to tuck your chin too much so you have good air flow. Keep on breathing. In through that nose and out through that nose, guys. Great job. Let's slowly bring the leg on the floor. Reach up. Make sure that you leveled on the ground with your hips. Don't rock side to side, in other words. And gently fold forward. Inhalation through the nose. And exhalation through the nose as well. Very good. And just a breath or two. And we will continue with a little massage for the back. So we're gonna roll on our back. So let's move towards the front of the mat. And you can just hug it a little bit tight or you can grab your feet, you can grab your ankles, whichever feels right for your roll. And let's begin the roll. Just a little rolls down and up. Make sure you don't roll on your neck, guys. We're just rolling up to shoulder blades and then over the feet. One more, we're gonna stop right up here and see if we can come on the tippy toes. Slowly move your hands outside, just like we did our first asana greet. I mean, one of the first at the beginning, greet the earth. So we're gonna greet the earth on our tippy toes. Keep on breathing. And if that feels really, really good, see if you can take your hands up front of that outside leg. Ooh, a lot of balance required here. And let's slowly return back on the floor. And we're gonna roll for a few more times. And then we do the same toe squat with the both feet from the other side. Mm -hmm. Very good. Try to go, guys, for each and every word breath while you're rolling. Mm -hmm. Come on back up. Stay with me up here. Find the balance on the toes, and you definitely can support yourself just like that. Or walk behind that outside leg, just crisscross from other side. And if that feels right, then we're gonna try to put our pose hands. Namaste. Very good job, guys. Ooh, a lot of balance for those toes and a lot of tricks. So let's slowly sit back on the floor. We will begin the next floor to activate the center, the heart chakra, the Manipur, the Manipur chakra, Svathistana, and per se, Mulabandha too, the very, I mean, the very, very bottom chakra is the root one. Mm -hmm. So reach the arms up and slowly, gently start to roll out. Arms above the face and then gently reach up. Gently lower down, vertebra by vertebra, and gently reach up. If that is a little bit too fast for you, then definitely slow down. Sometimes less is truly more. Couple more times, guys. Breathe actively. On exhalation, we come back up. With your exhalation, contract your belly slightly, massage your organs, and make sure that the tummy becomes very pretty. And one more time. 
we're gonna hold guys in modified boat now it's not for everyone you might need to come up a little bit more higher and that is okay but if that is available for you then let's lean slightly deeper and just continue to breathe to focus in the center of the body keep on breathing guys let's slowly extend those legs and reach all the way up and fold forward fold we're gonna do a few rowing motions in that modified both legs on the floor so i will show you how we're gonna do it we're gonna sweep the arms take them all the way through the side bring them up front just like you're ready to take off the legs off the ground we're not gonna do that you roll it all the way you reach up active center exhalation and we rest very good we're gonna do a couple more times reach up and open sweep those shoulders take it all the way like you're ready to take for the boat roll it very nicely activate the center of the body and heart exhalation all the way back let's do one more time reach up and open big breath big sweep lean forward draw the navel in guys draw the elbows in and all the way forward fold let's rest a little bit in that seated forward fold and restore this back inhalation through the nose and exhalation through that nose lengthening that spine each and every step of the practice great job we're going back to the boat guys but it's going to be a modified boat so let's take one knee up and if that is already load definitely remain up here for today and as you keep coming back to this practice you might be able to lift the leg so if it's very easy for you then go ahead and do that let's talk a little bit about the form navel in soft gaze towards the toes like a bluer gaze and try to hold that extended leg as long and extended and please do not slouch the shoulders keep the pathway for the oxygen if you're joining me we're going to lift the ankle the one which was supported we're going to lift it off the ground and have the hands namaste very good let's rest together guys reach all the way up and we go back to that forward fold nurturing forward fold for the back and the pelvic floor very nice and let's return back and do the same thing half boat prep from the other side so hold the leg on the floor lift it up my friends breathe or you can lift the heel of the ground and even take the hands up front of the heart make sure your center is active extended leg is extended not halfway extended shoulders down away from the ears you breathing actively inhalation through the nose and exhalation through the nose maybe even using little hissing sound at the base of your throat reach all the way up in forward fold rest recover and restore let's take a breath or two and slowly gently pull your both feet together so we're gonna go for the star pose upright star pose we will begin here just grab the ankles together and see if you can take your hands and bring your forehead on top of the fingertips or maybe on top on your feet we're just gonna spend here a few breaths in the regular star pose as a preparation and then slowly come on back and let's go ahead and grab our feet we're gonna grab the feet like we're grabbing the bound angle right but we're gonna bring them a little bit higher and we're gonna spread the elbows farther so from the front it looks like a star neutral spine shoulders down let's close the eyes find the balance doesn't have to be very close to your face either just do the best what you can keep on breathing shoulders down 
heart, filling up with the joy and love towards our body and towards others. Let's bring it back all the way and extend those legs. We're gonna go for the modified shoulder stand, knee pressure pose. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the legs up. If that guy's already low, just keep it that way, that's totally fine. Or if you want to come with me, we're gonna go ahead, lift the hips and bring the knees on top on the forehead. Keep on breathing. In through the nose and out through that nose. Great job, guys. If you need to come out earlier, please consider to come out earlier. That is okay. Mm -hmm. and let's come back and slowly, gently release the legs on the floor. Take your pose, feet hips width apart, guys. Take your arms on the side and bring your knees on one side. Bring your face to the other side, wind relieving pose. Take a few quality breaths. And slowly switch. Take your knees to the other side. Shoulders on the floor, both shoulder blades on the ground. Close your eyes. Take a few inhalations, exhalation. Restoring the energy, building the strong, full of energy body. So, guys, through the sides or straight forward, let's come back to the center. Reach all the way up. Take your both hands up front of the heart. Close your eyes. Look inside and find that strength and connection with your own physical body, with your own mind, and with your own true self. Human body is not just a bag of bones and tissues, it's very unique, very precious for each and every one of us. So let's treat this body well, nurture it well with the food, with the good affirmations, good quality rest. So let's close our eyes one more time Find the love and connection and peace inside that heart. Smile with your heart, share, share with others, and flow through the rest of this day with a true, unshakable peace inside. As always, namaste. Wonderful job, guys. That was a restorative flow. We focus, we focus a lot on the hips and on the core. So come back to this flow often, and your body is gonna be staying healthy forever. I will see you soon.